Hey everyone, Leo is here, Jumpstart Lightning, another episode, 23H2 support for HCI box. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Leo is here, another Jumpstart Lightning episode and a regular on the show. Dale, how are you doing? I'm doing really great. Awesome to be on the show as always. Dale, uh, you know, uh, this, uh, this episode, uh, it's a long-awaited one because we've been working on HCI box 23H2 support for a while now, and you're here to talk about this. But before we dive in, as always, Dale, who you are, what is it that you do? Yeah, my name is Dale Kirby. I'm a partner solution architect in Global Partner Solutions, and I'm also one of the core maintainers for the Jumpstart project. And I'm happy to be the lead architect for HCI Box, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Definitely. Dale, uh, like I mentioned, this has been a long-awaited uh, version of, uh, of HCI and complements the new release for HCI. So this HCI box is something, this version of HCI box is something that we've been working on for a while now. Um, and today I wanted to have you on the show because finally this is out, right? Yep. Yep. Finally, we're here. You know, just to give folks a recap of, you know, what HCI Box is, if you're not familiar, um, you know, we built HCI Box to offer a sandbox to explore Azure Stack HCI and Azure Arc together um, you know, without requiring physical hardware, which, of course, HCI is, is, built, is built for. And so HCI Box can be fully stood up in an Azure environment to explore these kind of, you know, this, this Azure Arc and Azure Stack HCI technology without hardware to really get quickly into places where you can do things like, you know, one, just get hands on with the tech, you know, accelerate mm -hmm. proof of concepts. You can use it as a training tool, which we've had a number of partners and customers do. Uh, it's great for spinning up quick demos and things like that. So there's just yeah. a lot of, you know, use uh, that you know, our customers, our partners in our field even get out of HCI box in terms of yeah. using it as a way to explore this, this technology. Mm -hmm. And, and Dell, would it be fair to say that there's not a day go by or at least almost every day go by without either you or me are getting asked about, hey, when are you releasing the next version yeah. of HCI box? Because we really want to start working with uh, with the 23H2. Yeah, and let's version. give some con let's give some context to that because it was with 23H2 came the new cloud deployment process, the new yep. um, uh, lifecycle management within, you know, inside of Azure for managing Azure Stack HCI clusters. Deployment is a lot different. A lot of things change, and naturally, people were eager to get hands on with what the new changes right. were and how they looked. And, and the new changes are awesome, by the way. I really like where things are going. Uh, yeah. So, what we wanted to make sure is that HCI Box is a way for them to experience not just Azure Stack HCI, but Azure Stack HCI 23H2 and all these new new developments. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, why don't we talk a little bit more about what's changed, right? Um, so here you're looking at the architecture now. Most of the arch like the most of the fundamentals are still there. Uh, so we're mm -hmm. still deploying into an Azure subscription. Everything is self-contained inside of an Azure resource group. Um, uh, but some of the things that are different are that we've really significantly overhauled one the code base. Uh, so the code base mm -hmm. is is much, in my opinion, cleaner. Uh, and more straightforward, which we think will help um, outside contributors or just you know folks that want to you know kind of tinker themselves. Uh, so that's much simpler. We've also yeah. streamlined the networking architecture um, so that the networking is um, more like a what a production environment would be like. Now, naturally, HBox is not meant for production, uh, but we mm -hmm. wanted to make sure that we're coming as close to it, you know, emulating as possible what what's out there in the real world. Right. Uh, we've also done some things like we're using Windows Admin Center and Azure Portal. Um, which is available in preview much more heavily. We've kind of redacted the Windows Admin Center Gateway server, mm -hmm. although it is still available as a feature. If you want to turn it on, you're more than welcome to, to run that code. Uh, so there's a lot of things that have changed in terms of the architecture that we think streamlines using HCI Box and also simplifies deployment and things like that. Yeah. I think that, uh, you know, Dell, before you're diving into the deployment mechanism that you're showing here on screen, I think that it will be fair to say that you know, HCI as it's becoming, you know, with, with every release, it's very obvious that the integration with Azure um, as a, you know, as a cloud platform is becoming more seamless, right? Yeah. We're going to talk about the cloud deployment aspect, but that's really my observation as I'm looking at the evolution of HCI throughout the years. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, this is what we really want to aim for is we want to be able to build a cloud native solution that can run cloud native services. Uh, naturally on any infrastructure. And it doesn't matter if that yeah. infrastructure is Azure public or on-premises on something like Stack HCI. And 
we like you mentioned, we're getting closer and closer to being able to do that really seamlessly where we deploy cloud right. native on anywhere and it really doesn't matter what your infrastructure is. So that really, yeah. I love that paradigm. Cloud native without really requiring cloud is pretty cool. <laughs> um, and let's talk about the deployment flow. So if you've used, yeah. again, if you've used HCI box before, it's not going to be that different um, in terms of how you deploy it. So if you've used things like Azure Developer CLI or Azure CLI to deploy it, same exact process. You deploy the ARM template, or excuse me, you deploy the BICEP template, uh, and then you log into the client VM, and that kicks off the rest of the scripts. Now, mm -hmm. what's changed is that because there is this new deployment process for the actual Stack HCI cluster, the Azure Stack HCI cluster resource itself, we wanted mm -hmm. to make sure that um, users are able to kind of see what this looks like uh, in real time. And so let me yep. show you what, like once we've deployed an ARM, you know, the, the BICEP template for HCI box and we have the HCI box VM available, the next step is to log into that VM and let the automation scripts run. Uh, mm -hmm. So I've just um, switched over, let me just, um, I've, I've switched over to an environment where I've deployed that first step. So we've deployed the BICEP template and we've mm -hmm. got our client VM available. You can see that the client VM is down here, the HCI box client. That's the virtual host, the virtualization host that hosts the HCI nodes and all the other infrastructure. And you can yeah. see it's also done things like automatically onboarded the two virtual HCI nodes as ARC enabled servers. That's one mm -hmm. of the prerequisites for deploying a cluster. And so we're kind of at the point where we're ready to deploy our HCI cluster through Azure. And so by the next step would be we remote into that HCI box VM. You can see I, I'm inside the VM here inside an Azure Bastion host. I can open up just a file explorer on the HCI box host and I can see uh, some of the files from HCI box. And two of those files are going to be an HCI and an HCI.parameters JSON. And these are actually the ARM template that you can use to deploy your HCI box cluster in Azure. So I'll mm -hmm. open up that, that encode here. You can see this is a complete ready to go ARM template. All you have to do to deploy your HCI box 23H2 cluster is take this and deploy it in Azure. And the, of course, our guide tells you exactly how to do that um, uh, to walk you through the whole process. So there's a there's an ARM template, there's a pre-built parameters file that has everything you need. It pretty much, you know, I've deployed a lot of 23H2 clusters. This is by far the most straightforward and simple way to do yeah. it um, from an ARM template perspective that I've, that I've seen. So yeah. really easy to do that. And then once it's deployed, of course, you deploy your cluster, that part kicks off. And then once your cluster is deployed, then you can start using HCI box. So I've switched over to another resource group here where we've got a completely deployed environment. You can see mm -hmm. I've got things like um, my HCI box uh, cluster itself. Just passed it up there. Um, I've got things like my HCI box cluster itself. So I can open mm -hmm. that up and see that this is a, you know, a two node, you know, cluster with uh, the 23H2 OS on it, um, mm -hmm. last connected three hours ago, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but I can also see other features like, you know, the virtual machines that we've deployed on this. In this case, I've got an example, Windows 11 VM. Um, mm -hmm. We can look at things like VM images. We've got the AKS cluster running on it as well. Uh, we can see that here. Uh, so pretty much all the kind of Azure Arc enabled services that you expect to see in something like HCI box are available, but on the 23H2 platform, which uh, yeah. as we know, has a lot of improvements for these things. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we're really excited to have people start yeah. trying this out. Definitely. And, you know, Dale, this is uh, kind of following the same pattern that we have in the Jumpstart. As you look at the resource group, as you look at, you know, the code and, and what have you, it's very obvious the comprehensiveness of, you know, what is included, all the way to the point, you know, like, it's not small things, but small things or implementation details like, hey, you know, we also included in the automation, uh, you know, a virtual machine that is deployed on the cluster that is ARC enabled and has a template in the gallery, you know, via the resource bridge, right? All these integrations, those connected tissues to a full, uh, again, comprehensive experience, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the, yeah. we want to make like, you know, that's been one of our principles is we want to make sure you've kind of got all the pieces you need to experience the full breadth or at least as much of the platform that, you know, fits into this use case. Uh, and so, yeah, that's definitely our design goal here. So definitely, we're gonna uh, we're gonna include all the you know all the links in the description below um, to for you to go and check it out. Dale, always a pleasure having you uh, on the show. Thank you so much for all the hard work on ATI Box and the rest of the Jumpstart team for uh, for the development for the Jumpstart viewers. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. As you know, we're coming back with a lot of episodes. Make sure to like, subscribe. As always, thank you so much for your support. Again, Dale, thank you so much for joining me today. All right, take care all.